Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will share some of the tips and tricks you can do on the Coolpad Note 3. So the Coolpad Note 3 runs on uh, Android 5.1 Lollipop uh, but it has a custom UI. The custom UI is called Cool UI and uh, it does not have an app drawer. Instead it has multiple home screens. So this has this custom notification center. So all in all this does not have any resemblance to the stock Android experience and this is the Cool UI. So we will share some of the tips and tricks you can do on this Cool UI. So first step uh, we will uh, see on the home screen. So if we press and hold the home screen you have this uh, default set of options for adding widgets, changing the wallpaper, you can add effects, uh, there are multiple effects to uh, navigate between uh, the home screen, so that's available here, so quite a lot of effects are included, then uh, you have the preferences, so if you go to the preferences, you can change the screen layout, you can have 4x4 four four icons or 4x5 four icons, so these are the options, then uh, you can uh, change, uh, you can have auto arrange of icons, then there is wallpaper scroll, you also have the option to hide apps, so you can just uh, draw a pattern and then um, hide apps uh, so say for example if you just want uh, these two apps to be hidden so you can see here now these apps are hidden and won't be available uh, unless you unhide it so just go here edit preferences hide apps just draw the pattern and then uh, uh, remove those apps uh, from here so that's how you hide apps and uh, then um, uh, make them uh, visible again so that's the options there so these are some of the options in the home screen now if you go to the notification center uh, it's a beautiful customized notification center so we have this option some of the options are uh, self-explanatory there is one um, uh, option called multitask so if you click this multitask uh, you can see there is a sidebar here uh, so sidebar has uh, some apps included so if you just go to edit you can add some apps say for example i will just add chrome and uh, probably youtube so that's all now now what you can do is you can multitask with a dual window say for example first i open chrome and then uh, open our website uh, so now we have opened the website now just go to the this bar and select uh, youtube so what it does is uh, you can see here it's it opens in a dual window uh, so you can now have uh, two different windows one for browsing one for watching movies or videos so that's the dual window setup and uh, this is pretty handy you can just uh, resize this uh, window and uh, you can select uh, how much uh, screen space each of these windows should occupy so you can add um, um, uh, any any of these apps uh, which are available in the sidebar this is again configurable you can see you can just go to the edit button and then configure these options so that's how uh, you uh, multitask then uh, you can also see long standby so what long standby does is it's just like uh, ultra power saving mode uh, you have only phone messaging contacts alarm and calculator nothing else is available so everything is uh, uh, disabled by default you can see no apps are working so we just hit the exit mode uh, it will be uh, back to normal so that's the uh, long standby then uh, you have this c button so c button uh, provides some additional options uh, like lock screenshot uh, restart uh, power brightness uh, then you also have the menu multitask option is there so this uh, uh, this option allows you to get uh, quick access uh, instead of uh, opening it from the um, uh, the notification center so that's the uh, uh, the quick uh, the c button available so if you want that c button you can just uh, enable it from there so those were some of the options in the notification center now we have this rock wallpaper so rock wallpaper what it does is every time you hit the rock wallpaper it changes the wallpaper you can also shake uh, the device to change the wallpaper so now you have changed the wallpaper so there is another wallpaper so it's a pretty simple process so just hit this or just shake the device and it will uh, change the wallpaper now there is also cool show app uh, here so what cool show does is you have a uh, a few themes available so you can select uh, from these themes if you hit here you have a uh, customization options for lock screen home screen incoming call notification uh, phone styles and lock screen uh, style so if you go to incoming uh, you can just select uh, whatever music you want and then customize this so that's the option so if you want to change the theme you can select from whatever is available so that's the customization options called uh, cool show and uh, now let's go to the fingerprint uh, management so this is the fingerprint management tool so we already uh, showed you how to set up the fingerprint uh, scanner on this device so in case uh, you're not sure how to set it up uh, get to the description of this video we have the links 
on how to set up a uh, fingerprint management so now we have set up uh, the fingerprint and you can see you have multiple fingerprints here so you can add multiple fingerprints and each of the fingerprint can be used for a specific uh, option so if for example this uh, we are set for unlocking the screen then uh, you also have the option to quick capture one key dial open an app so say for example i set a different fingerprint uh, for quick capture so what it does is uh, say right now in the home screen i'll use that uh, fingerprint and you can see now uh, it has uh, quickly captured without having to open the camera app so that's how you uh, do a quick capture so now uh, if you go back uh, you can add this to open an app say for example now i want to open uh, the calculator so you can set any op uh, app so now i press that so you can see here as soon as i hit the uh, fingerprint on now uh, i mean the finger on the uh, scanner you can see the calculator app is open so that's the option available it's very useful uh, you can quickly access uh, with multiple fingerprints so you can set up multiple fingerprints you can add a fingerprint and then uh, set up uh, each of this fingerprint for multiple tasks so these tasks can be a uh, quick capture one key dial open an app and unlock the screen so these are the options so, and uh, you can uh, have multiple fingerprints and uh, set the name as well now let's go to the another app called fp lock so fp lock already we have mentioned that it's a fingerprint uh, app locking mechanism so uh, you can uh, see our video in the description uh, there is an option to uh, view this uh, how to set up uh, fp lock so now once you have set up fp lock uh, you can uh, uh, select apps which you don't want uh, to be shown or rather accessed uh, without a security so say for example i have selected facebook now if you open the facebook app uh, here uh, it will ask for the fingerprint and once uh, i select the fingerprint then only you can access the app so that's the fp lock app now there is also option called clear this is a clear app so what it does is it will clear the uh, internal storage i mean the internal ram used by apps so just hit this and it will release the memory used by apps and it also shows you how much memory was released so you can see here 454 mb of memory used uh, i mean released now let's go to the settings so settings has uh, some uh, decent amount of options again so if you go to the brightness and display we have this adaptive brightness so optimizing brightness for available light and then uh, we have the screen effect settings so you can select the screen to be standard vivid or even the user mode so that's a very useful option then you can select the uh, font style and the font size as well next up uh, we have uh, the storage so in the storage uh, we have these three tabs called phone memory external sd card and usb storage so here if you go down you can see some uh, option called location so if you click this location you can see two options the default storage location that's the auto you can select to phone storage as well as sd card so anything uh, uh, which needs to be stored on the phone will be stored on the sd card if you select that and if you select auto it will be automatically selected then app installation now uh, settings so if you want to install apps on the sd card uh, this is the option you can just select uh, sd card preferences and you can also uh, use the default storage uh, uh, to for other purposes now if you go to the battery you have uh, the option to show the battery percentage and also the other options so these are self-explanatory now let's go to the smart control so smart control are, are some gestures available in the app i mean the phone which allows you to get better off your device so it first step is a wake up gesture here we have the double tap to wake uh, you can see here is double tap on the screen to wake up the phone then a slide to unlock you can just uh, slide uh, off quickly uh, from the bottom of the screen uh, to the top to unlock uh, the screen so that's another useful option then you have slide to take photos when screen is turned off quickly slide down uh, from the top of the screen to bottom to turn on the screen and launch the camera uh, then uh, other options include horizontally slide uh, to switch songs so if uh, if the music application is running when the screen is turned off switch to the forward song when sliding on the left of the screen and switch to the next song when sliding to the right of the screen so what it does is uh, if you're if you're playing music the music app is running and the screen is switched off you can just swipe this way or switch swipe that way uh, to change the song uh, which is being played then uh, we have the draw uh, c for uh, different options you can see c e m o and w so these are the options available so you can select uh, each of these gestures can be opened um, i mean uh, can be used to open an app so uh, you can set these options so which all uh, apps do you want to uh, show you can see o for facebook w for whatsapp 
then uh, M for music, uh, E for browser and C to open the keyboard. So that's the options available here. Then you can action and screen. So there is a glove mode with high sensitivity. The screen reacts as usual when your hands touch in with the gloves. Then uh, you have this cover the screen for small window to appear. Then multi screen divide the screen for two independent apps and then three screenshots that's flick up uh, or down with three fingers at uh, any screen to take a screenshot see there you go so now we are taking a screenshot that's how it works and then uh, we have this lock screen and security so we can uh, set um, uh, power buttons to instantly lock and then uh, we have the fingerprint management which we already talked about uh, then uh, you can also uh, uh, enable um, uh, device administrator and also install apps from unsource, unknown sources so these are some other tips and tricks you can do on the cool pad note 3 so overall it's a pretty impressive device with 3 gigs of ram 16 gigs of internal storage an octa core processor android 5.1 with the cool ui and there is also fingerprint scanner so these are some other tips and tricks you can do on this device so hope you like this video if you have any questions drop in a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with the queries if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day